Hello and welcome to Let's Play Heroes of the Lance on the Sega Master System. And this game is a side-scrolling RPG and it's really difficult if you don't know what you're doing, or extremely easy if you do. Um, Heroes of the Lance is based on uh, the Dragon Lance series of modules for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I'm not really a fan of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I don't know much about it apart from the fact that it's an RPG and it involves um, people dressing up, sitting in a circle and uh, battling each other with dice or whatever and cards. I, I don't really know, I've never played it. But, um, yeah, uh, the plot of the game is we have to go through a ruined city or something um, and find a dragon um, and then defeat the dragon and then recover the discs of um, Masha Cow. Um, I don't know what they are, what significance they have. All I know is that's what the plot is. Um, yeah, there are eight heroes and, uh, well, there are seven heroes and one heroine. Uh, because, a, uh, because a woman can't be a hero, uh, she can only be a heroine. Um, anyway, but um, it's, it's always amused me how, how they're called heroes because they're not actually very heroic, they die really easily. Um, yeah, uh, the game involves uh, magic items, um, combat with swords and everything. Um, I remember when I first played this back in 98, um, I wasn't very impressed. Um, I played it a few times and I kept dying really easily. Um, I realised later on why I kept dying, and that's because it's um, it's best never to engage in combat in this game. Um, all all it is, it ends up with uh, with a bit of button mashing um, against a creature, and either you die or they die, and you lose a ton of health if you don't die. It's pretty pointless, and if you do die, it leaves behind a gravestone. And if you don't do the resurrection spell and leave the area, then they're dead for good. Otherwise, you can re otherwise you can resurrect them. Um, yeah, the best way to get past enemies, in fact all enemies, is either to use the web spell or the hold spell. Um, if you want to do a spell, you have to have either Gold Moon, the woman, the only heroine. Um, well, I think she's the only heroine anyway. Uh, the other one looks like a bit of a... Uh, looks, like, uh, looks like a woman anyway. Um, yeah, um, yeah, if you want to do a spell, uh, either of the two people that do magic, either the woman, Gold Moon, or the other one, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, they have to be in the top four, and then you can do magic. Um, if you want to do magic without using the menu, um, the person doing the magic has to be on the top left of your heroes. It has to be the hero that's walking around. Um, yeah, so you can either do the hold spell, uh, Goldmoon does that one, or you can do the web spell, and the other one does that one. I don't really know much about this game. All I know is, um, is mainly how to complete it. Um, you can pick up items on the way, but there's no need. Um, and again, there's no need. Uh, there's no need to battle any of the enemies there. All you have to do is just uh, use either one of the spells and then just uh, and just run away. And the enemies respawn anyway when you go back to an area anyway. So there's no advantage to you at all in the uh, in killing enemies. There's, there's no advantage at all. Um, yeah, I know the NES version has a limit on the amount of magic you can perform. Um, I haven't discovered that in this version. I do spell after spell, I resurrect everyone, do health, and I never run out of magic. I, I don't know why. Um, yeah, at the end of the game, um, we have to defeat a dragon. Now, the dragon is actually really easy. All you have to do is just make sure you keep Gold Moon alive, a woman walking around now, because she has a blue crystal staff. You just have to throw that at the dragon, and then it dies instantly. And then you have to avoid loads of rocks falling from the ceiling. Um, or boulders, whatever, and then uh, I just grab the discs of Masha Cow, and then that's the end of the game. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I'm not really impressed with this game. It's it's pretty poor. You don't know what you're doing when you first play. The manual isn't helpful at all. The controls are really choppy. The combat system is completely flawed. It's too easy to die. You actually get eight hero, well, seven heroes and one heroine, and 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 they're not really heroic because they die at the drop of a hat. Uh, the items are useless. All you end up doing, and the, the menu is difficult to navigate. There's so many options. I don't know what they do, but yeah, um, I'm going to complete this anyway. Um, if it shouldn't take me too long. Right, um, okay. Um, we'll have a read of all the characters, even though it has no bearing on the story whatsoever. Um, Goldmoon, a human cleric, daughter of the Q-Shoes chieftain. She is betrothed to Riverwind. Um, Goldmoon carries the blue crystal staff. It's full... It's full powers as yet unknown, but only available to her. I like how they spelled it's with an apostrophe, even though the possessive it's has no apostrophe. Anyway, it, um, I will... 
I always thought that they put more effort into the story of this game than the actual gameplay. I mean, it doesn't matter at all who Goldmoon is. Just if they just made a, a decent game, you, you could make any, you can make up any backstory for her. Anyway, on to the next one. Sturm, the son of a knight of Salamnia, Sturm Brightblade is a human fighter. Taught his wilderness skills by flint, he is bound by his code of honour to disdain ranged weapons as cowardly, fighting with his two-handed sword in close combat. Um, Caramon, trained as a warrior, there's a surprise, Caramon uh, Magia gained the experience to make him a mighty warrior, comma, by his travels with Flint and Tannis. Armed with spear and longsword, he is a valued member of the Companions. I thought they were heroes. Uh, Raistlin, the brother of Caramon, his incredible talent for magic led him to become the youngest mage ever to pass the test, which confirmed his abilities but left him a physical wreck. During this ordeal, he acquired the staff of Magius. Magius, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yes, it, uh, it's really difficult to read this text. Uh, the font is quite um, is quite tricky to read easily, and uh, and also the uh, the punctuation is a bit off as well. Um, Tannis, uh, Tantalus or Tantalus, whatever, um, better known as Tannis, half elven, is a master swordsman and archer, making the best of his mixed parentage to become one of the deadliest fighters of the age the natural leader of the companions again i thought they were heroes uh, tasselhoff better known as david tasselhoff um, as a kender what's that uh, tasselhoff burfoot has their insatiable curiosity instead of curiosity uh, especially about other people's possessions uh, calling him a thief is a deadly insult, but he, even though it looks like a woman, he doesn't really understand why people get annoyed when he acquires their property. How? How would you not understand that stealing is, you know, I mean, I can understand, you know, not uh, not understanding that, uh, that stealing is wrong, but how can you not understand that people would get annoyed? Um, fights with the Who Pack, I don't know what that is. Uh, Riverwind, an outcast of the Kyushu tribe, he had the temerity to fall in love with Goldmoon. With the skills of a human ranger, he fights with bow and longsword. Uh, with his betrothed, he is seeking the secrets of the blue crystal staff. All right. Flint, born and bred a hill dwarf, Flint Fireforge. Who makes up these names? Um, is a master metalsmith, fearless fighter, and elf friend. Few enemies care to face his battle axe at close range. Fewer still get past his throwing axes. Um, I care to disagree. Um, all enemies um, care to face his battle axe because they don't run away. Um, and he's actually really weak. He dies really easily like all the other um, quote-unquote heroes. Anyway... Okay, so this is the game. Um, if you fall down a pit, it's instant death. If you press up, left, or up, right, uh, you will run uh, in those directions like that. Um, when you're over a door, the compass will light up, meaning um, if the if the S or the N are highlighted, that means you can go um, in those directions. You can, you can press up or down to go to a door, which I won't do yet because there are enemies there, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Pressing 1 will get ready to do magic if you have some magic selected or, or something. If you're near an enemy, you can't do magic unless you use the menu option. That's because it goes into quote-unquote combat mode, and that means you just end up uh, button mashing until either you or the enemy are dead. Um, my advice is never get into combat mode. Always run past the enemies or do magic beforehand because you will lose a lot of health doing combat, um, or you will die. Anyway, if we press button, uh, if we press button two, um, we will get to the menu. Um, hero select. Um, you can press button one, by the way, to choose things in the menu, which is stupid because it means one of the buttons isn't used, like on uh, uh, like on the Master System version of uh, Shadow of the Beast. Uh, it effectively has two pause buttons: the button two and pause. Um, anyway, so hero select, we can choose the hero. Um, if you want to do magic, um, you have to get either 
I, you have to, if you want to do magic in the game without having to do the menu thing first, you have to have either Gold Moon or the Mage or whatever his name is, uh, uh, Raceslin. Um, yeah, you have to have him or her in the front. Now, if you want to do magic just from the menu, you have to have either him or her in the top four. If you have them in the bottom four, they can't do magic even from the menu. All this other stuff, uh, strength, intelligence, all nonsense, don't worry about it. It's all rubbish. Just ignore it. It's, you don't need any of it. Uh, press button two to go back. Um, we will keep Gold Moon out for now. Um, magic user spells, that's the... Um, yeah, that, uh, they're Raceland spells, I think. Um, I always do uh, web with him. The other spells, they just do uh, damage. Don't worry about them. You, you never need them. Uh, just, uh, just concentrate on web. Uh, clerical staff spells, I think they're gold moon spells. Um, best one is hold person. Um, I will mention again, I don't know of any limit of magic. I've never run out of magic in this game, and I've done a lot of spells. In the NES version, there's actually a bar uh, showing how much magic you have left, but in this version, there isn't. So, uh, Use, don't worry about that, you never need it. Uh, take, when you're over an item or a chest, it looks like a chest, you can take an item. Um, give, you can give an item, don't bother with it, it's completely useless. Drop, again, useless. Score, useless. Everything is useless apart from these three things. That's what you want to concentrate on. Although having said that, when I go past an uh, when I go past an item, I will be picking it up. Right. Um, right. So with that done, right. Okay, we're going to go in here now. Um, now, when we go in here, there's some enemies to take care of. Okay, so go right. Now, there's a certain direction you have to go. I'll pause the game quickly. Uh, a certain direction you have to go. So I've written down the perfect directions to get me through the game as quickly as possible. Okay, so we go through the door. We've done that. And then we go all the right to the end. And there's a door at the end of the on the right. Um, so here we go. Uh, just make sure I have the, uh, the spell selected, the hold person one. There we go. There we go, then that's that done, then just run. That's it. Okay, we're going all the way to the end. Um, and then we're going through the door here. Oh yeah, this bit, right. Okay, use a web spell. Um, okay, take care of him. Don't use a web spell until he's close enough. Now do it, otherwise uh, it'll... It, uh, the spell affects the first enemy it touches, so you have to wait for the blue enemy to come forward. The blue enemies are actually really hard, they do magic, so make sure you get rid of them. That's it. Uh, uh, oh good, it didn't do any uh, any damage. Okay, and then just wait for the... Wait for the last one last one to come. Here he comes, a little dwarf bloke. Nearly there. He'll come up to you and kick you, so just get rid of him with a web spell. There we go. Also, if you kill the blue enemies, they explode, so be careful. I think they explode anyway, so be careful with them. Okay, get the item, stand over it, and choose take, and we get a pouch. I don't know what it is, what it does, but I would get it anyway. And you definitely don't need it. Okay, we need the third door here. Okay, go through it, and then we're here. Okay, um, go this way. Uh, grab this, which I think is a gem, and it is. Yeah, we go, we get a gem, it does absolutely nothing. Okay, kill this critter, uh, to make sure I have the magic out. Old person, there we go. Here he comes. There we go, and he's finished. There we go. Oh, I can kill him if you want. There we go. Off he goes. Right. Um, what do we do here? Okay, use a web spell immediately. There we go, he's finished. Then take care of him. Careful, I don't run, don't fall down the pit. I think this is the other side of the pit at the start. Uh, take, it's another gem. Brilliant. Okay, there's a blue enemy over here. Uh, I'm just going to see which way we need to go. I'm just going to pause it. Which way do we need to go? Um, we need the second door here. So, right second door. We've done, we've done left first door. Right second door. Then right down shoot. Right, um, right second door. So not that one. I think there's a blue enemy here. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to do a hold spell. There we go. And he's finished. Okay, so not that door. Ignore that. Oh, oh dear. And uh, almost forgot about him. Do a web spell. There we go. And he's sorted. Kill him. Because uh, just as a punishment. I don't know why the creatures don't fight each other. Right. Um. Don't worry. We can heal ourselves. Um. 
take this. What is it? It's another gem. Brilliant. Right. Okay, we want to go in this door. Um, so go in here. And there's the statue. That's what you want to look for when you're playing this game, the statue. On the nearest version, it's more prominent, but here you can just make it out. So then here we go right and down the chute. The, the chute is difficult to find on the Master System version. It's easy to find on the NES version, but difficult on the Master System version. Anyway, go through here. What do we have? We have two enemies. Take care of them with, guess what? A web spell. There we go. Take care of him. And this little critter. Have a web spell. There we go. Right, we're going down the chute now, which is here. Just look for where the E is highlighted and then go down. And that's it. That's the first area done. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. You can spore if you want, but you'll end up dying. Uh, you hear alarm bells in the distance. Right, so now we're here now. Uh, next place. Oh, yes. Need right uh, first door. Um, okay, I will just explain. We're in a, a new area of the uh, of the game now. We can't go back to the old area. Um this place, yeah, there's one annoying area in here that involves jumping over a pit, and it's bloody awkward, but um, I'll try my best. You need to change characters, because some characters can jump better than others. Anyway. Okay, this is apparently a door. Go through it and use a spell on him. Okay, I don't know what the noise is. It might be the alarm bell, I don't know. Ignore the door, yeah, that door there, if it is a door, it's just said east there, but... Uh, go in here. Uh, waterfall, the waterfall cures all your wounds. There we go, so all healed, lovely. I'm going to have to pause it a few times to read directions. Um, my apologies about that, but I have no choice. Okay, uh, go over here, and there's a weird thing, waterfall thing. This might be the waterfall, I don't know, but it goes upwards. Um, go close, it says Critter appears. There he is. Do a web spell. There we go, so that's the end of Critter. Okay, now, the number of things this thing chucks out is randomised. But when there's a gap, uh, just do a running jump, which is just uh, run and then uh, button one. You should just make it. Okay, go for it. That's it, good. You don't want to touch those things, they do hurt quite a bit. Okay, we want the first door after this place. Take this, it's uh, a gold chalice, that will be useful for nothing. Right. Go in this door, quickly, that's it. Okay, go this way. Now we want the a door I've labelled the smiley door. There's some arrows that come out of nowhere. It's pretty nasty. There we go. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, the smiley door. Go in here. Okay. Oh, enemy. Uh, use a web on him. There we go. He's finished. Uh, I'll show what happens when you kill him, actually. Yep, he explodes. Quick. Oh, God. I couldn't move fast enough. That doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that doesn't matter. I I'll change... Uh, um, what should I do? Um, no, I'll just li I'll just do a healing spell. Um, cure critical wounds. I'll do on. Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Fine. Okay. Now, what do we do here? We want. Uh, we've been through the smiley door. We want right first door. Right, take shield, give shield to whoever, to whomever rather. Um, give, oh, take the other shield. Yep, there we go. Give it to whomever, or whomsoever. Um, give it to the dwarf bloke, Flint, whatever his name is. Okay, first door. Quickly go in this door because some sort of dinosaur shows up. Yeah, here he is, quick. That's it. You don't want to muck around with that dinosaur. He, he takes a lot of health off. Trust me. Take a ring, that does nothing. Okay, what are we doing here? A left wooden door, we need the wooden door. Apparently. Which is this one, fantastic. Let's go through the wooden door. Alright, now so I'm going to have to pause it. Um, jump, I've written jump over hole as Racelin. Uh, and then. To right, there's a door. Okay. Oh yeah, this. So I'm gonna have to change to Racelin and then jump over. Yeah, because Racelin has. Uh, he can do a weird jump. I'll explain that when I get up to it. Um, hold on a sec. Let me just check that. Um, left wooden door, right through door, then the jump. Uh, yeah. Um, 
Uh, there's just one more door before the jump. Um, I misread my uh, my directions. Um, okay, let's take care of uh, Shrek here. Let's do that. Oh, looks like a net this time. Okay, this bloke, uh, you can't use web on him, so make sure you just do a hold spell. For some reason, web won't work on him, and he takes off a load of health. So be sure to uh, uh, use just a hold spell. Okay, go through. Uh, don't do a hold spell here. Change to Racelin first. Um, that's it. Uh, do a web spell. Oh, come here. Do a web spell. I have to do it manually because he's the character. There we go. Okay, uh, now do a jump. You can actually walk on the on the grayed out bit there, but the the hole begins where the platform ends, where you can see. So just do a run up and use racing because he seems able to. Um, he seems to be able to uh, uh, to jump longer distances. Jump now. That's it. It's like a ghost. Yeah, you do a web spell there because this bloke can sometimes snap himself out of a hold spell. And he can take a load of damage. I mean, he can do a load of damage to uh, Racelin there. Uh, switch back to, um, uh, to Gold Moon now. There we go. Alright, where are we going now? Um, should be a door on the right somewhere. Oh, little critter. Let's do a hold, hold spell. Oh, do it. I forgot I got gold moon out. There we go. Right, it should be a door somewhere around here. Just look at that compass. Is it here? No. This one? No. Is it this one? No. Assume it's beyond here. Yep, this one, right. This is a this is obviously a door. Alright, now where do we go? Sorry. Um left first door. Then left second door. So left first door. Um I'm going to change character to one of the blokes. Uh, because they can take more damage. Um yeah, um, change it to him, Sturm, that'll do. Whoops, wrong one. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, change to Sturm, there we go. Okay, now there's um, uh, there's fire here and arrows. Um, you have to wait for the fire to go. It really does a lot of damage, so you have to be careful with it. I'd say we're about halfway through the game now. Yeah, just ignore the arrows, really. that's the best you can do, really. There's no way past them. Um, right, what are we doing? Um, okay, first door, then left, second door. So not that one. Uh, this one. Ah, yes, this bit. Right, let me just have a look at the directions again. Um, Okay, so you have to jump over the platforms here. They're quite easy because the platforms actually extend to where you can just see it's it's, it's greying out. You can stand on that, so the, the gaps aren't as big as what you think. Okay, then, yeah, keep jumping over it here, then take the door at the end, and then and then we'll go down another chute, and then we're in the third and final area where the dragon is. And then it's, it's actually easier there than here, believe it or not, because there's no arrows and traps and stupid things, just really difficult enemies, which are easily taken care of with this, with the magic spells. Okay, big jump. That's it, lovely. And again, big jump. Okay, one more. That's it, okay. And final one. That's it, and then through the door and down the chute. Okay, this next area is very labyrinthine, so I have to follow my directions to the letter. You hear alarm bells in the distance, again. Okay. Let's take care of this critter with, guess what, a web spell. There we go. Take the thing. What is it? It's a gem. Brilliant. Okay, so we go right into a door. Go through this door. Okay, we go right into a door again. Do a spell. Thank you. There should be another door down here. Yep, there is. Okay, then left into a door. Oh, another thing. 
have a web. Right. Take that thing. It's 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 coins. I don't know why I need them. Okay, so left to a door, and then we go right to a door, and then right to the first door. We just want the first door here. That's a door, so go through it. Okay, pause here a moment. Okay, uh, right. Uh, we want the uh, we want the fourth door. And not including that one. So one, two, three, and four. There's a critter. Take that. Right. Uh, right into a door again. Okay, and then right into the first door as a critter right into the first door that's it that's the first door now the critter guess what i'm going to use web there we are okay so right first door again um left first door Then right first door. Take this thing, it's a yellow potion. I don't know what that does and I don't care. Okay, so right first door again, we're doing here. Have one of them. Uh, left first door. Um, right, and then the third door. So we want the third door here. See, this bit's easier as long as you know where you're going. What's this? Uh, coins again. Right, third door. That's one. That's twice. And this is thrice. Right, third door. Up we go. Left first door. Oh, critter. Have another web. So left first door. Yep, trying to go through. There we go. Oh, we're here. Right. Okay, stop now. Okay, so here is the dragon. Now, uh, we have to make sure that, uh, that gold moon is... Um, Make sure that Gold Moon is out the front, uh, and then try to use magic, and then we'll throw the staff, um, and then the dragon will die instantly, and then the ceiling where uh, the ceiling will start to collapse, um, and pretty much it just looks like how it um, how it looked before, you know, just uh, blocks and boulders falling from the ceiling. They're extremely difficult to avoid, so the way to do it is, if you want all your party to be alive, is just keep running and, and, um, and watch the character's health, and if the health looks too low, switch to another character and keep going until you get the discs. Uh, to get the discs, uh, uh, um, just stand right next to them, and then um, press button 2 and press take, and then you'll take the discs, and that's the end of the game. So that's all we have to do. Okay, switch characters. We need Gold Moon for her staff. That's it. Um, heal anyone who needs it, which is only that bloke. Because we'll need the health, believe me. And um, then let's go. Um, go to the, um, go up to the dragon just so you can see the flame. Don't go any closer, otherwise it will hurt you. That's it. Okay, throw the staff, then the dragon's dead, even though we didn't see it. Okay, switch character. Um, switch to this bloke. There we go. And then go. And then again, switch to this bloke. Uh, the dwarf bloke. Um, don't switch to David um, David Tasselhoff. He's, uh, he is quite weak. Okay, there are the discs. Pick them up. Uh, the, the discs of Mishakal. And that's it, we've completed the game. Um, it might be possible, I can't remember, um, 
if um, Gold Moon dies, you might be able to pick up her um, her blue crystal staff and give it to someone else, and then they can throw it at the dragon. Um, but if you don't do it, then you can't complete the game. So if she does die, and you can do it, I can't remember, make sure you do it. Um, but it's just easy enough just to keep Gold Moon alive. Anyway, um, monsters killed. Two, Raz, Baz, I don't know what that says. One, a Bozak. Must be a Baz. Um, Agar, Erg, and three men. Who makes up these names? Anyway, congratulations, you have recovered the discs of Mishakal. And our score is party experience. 10,547 points for combat and for items 10,390 and that's it we've completed Heroes of the Lance and that's it that's the whole game um, okay my review of the game um, my review of the game um, it is a very poor game um, you know it, it's too difficult to work out where you have to go too many places to explore. You don't need any of the stuff that you pick up. Combat is awful. It's too easy to die, and it's just button mashing. There's no proper defence. You can easily just use magic to go uh, to bypass everything. Uh, the controls are hideous. Uh, doing those jumps are quite tricky. You can easily fall off. Um, at least the, the one music track is good, though. I will grant them that. The, the music is good. It's really catchy. I like it. It has, a, it, it, it has a nice atmosphere. And I do actually like the uh, the atmosphere of the game, the uh, uh, the colours. Although everything's grey, I think it, it reflects a ruined city nice. I think the graphics reflect that nicely. But, um, yeah, there's just no proper... Uh, um, there isn't a structure to the gameplay. It's just sort of go from one place to the next. Uh, I'd rather they had different levels like Rastan. I mean, if you want atmosphere and a good sort of hack and slash sort of uh, atmosphere in a game, even though there aren't any RPG elements in that, but you don't need them. Uh, I mean, you only have to look for Rastan, Golden Axe. I mean, they're good games. I mean, this is just like... Um, it's basically just a hack and slash adventure that tries to be an RPG and it, and, and it fails at both. And that's my uh, conclusion of this game. Uh, my next video um, is actually going to be, or videos, video series, I don't know how many uh, videos it will take, will be Michael Jackson's Moonwalk on the Sega Master System. Um, I do like that game. It's quite repetitive, but the music is decent because it's just Master System versions of Michael Jackson songs. Can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, um, although the, the game is easy enough, but the, the last boss is ferocious, <laughs> absolutely ferocious. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I actually have a new computer. This is a, a nice HP laptop I got. Um, it has Windows 7 on it. Um, really nice. I didn't want Windows 8 or Windows 10 because they're rubbish. Um, I got some new screen recording software. Um, it's called Ice Cream Apps. It's actually quite decent. Um, I actually have a new microphone port. Um, well, the obvious idea with a new computer, duh. But uh, yeah, the microphone port is a different microphone port. It's actually a combo port. It has the speakers and microphone in one port, which is annoying because my headphones are, uh, they have two plugs. Uh, so I had to get an adapter to convert the port into two ports and then plug the microphone into that. And you know, the annoying thing is is that um, my old software, my old computer, that I was screen virtuoso, and, and I had to do... That did... Um, that used to record my voice and the gameplay with what's known as Stereo Mix. Uh, this one doesn't do that. This this software, Ice Cream uh, Recorder, it just records the, the system audio, which is the game, whatever's noise my computer's making, which happens to be Fusion Emulator, and it also records my, uh, my microphone. It records them simultaneously. Um, I actually tried to do um, stereo mix and it actually had an echo on my voice because it was recording my voice twice, which is a bit weird. It sounded weird as well, like I had entered some sort of parallel universe. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's actually recording my microphone and the system audio uh, as two separate things and putting it on one thing. The video quality is a bit better. Uh, the microphone is slightly too quiet for my liking, but I hope you can put up with that. Also. I think only when the microphone's on, there's some when the gameplay is playing. I tried it. I tested it out on Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and it had a bit of clicking in it. Um, if my future videos have a bit of clicking in it, um, I do apologise, but there is absolutely 
positively nothing I can do about it. This is the best uh, screen software that I could get, and I actually had to pay for it. It's that good, and it actually it can record to uh, WEBM, MP4, or MKV. Um, really good quality. I really am really pleased with the screen recording software and the microphone and everything. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this computer. It's really nice. Um, much faster. Eight gigabytes of RAM compared to the two gigabytes on my old one. Uh, process is better as well. I'm not really into computers that much, but um, yeah, it has a core i5 Intel processor, so really pleased with this computer. It also has two USB 3 ports, so I've plugged in a. Uh, I have a really nice uh, um, USB hub, USB 3 hub that I've plugged into one of the ports, and uh, it's really fast, so really pleased with that. Also, I need the ports in here because this computer only has three of them. My last computer had three as well, but the one I had before that had four, so. This yeah, this hub actually gives me um um it gives me an extra seven ports and it's a plug-in hub as well so I can keep plugging hard drive after hard drive into this hub and it will keep you know and it won't sort of it won't muck up because it has an external power source so I'm really pleased with this computer um yeah so um yeah I've also discovered um I can also if you remember I wasn't I, um, I was going to do a silent hill playthrough but I gave it up because my computer wasn't fast enough it kept uh, there's a lot of lag with EPSXE that doesn't happen with this computer although I still can't get rid of the white squares around the the sprites but um I can put up with that, so my uh, my Silent Hill playthrough is now going ahead at some point. I'm going to do a uh, playthrough of Silent Hill um, on every difficulty, completing the game five times, and getting the ten star ranking uh, to show you the green hyper hyper blaster. So I'm going to show you that. Love Silent Hill. Looking forward to that. So also need to finish um, uh, Starfighter 3000, or, or just. Starfighter, as it's called in America. Um, there was some lag on that, on the audio of that, and the, on the on the mission briefing. That isn't apparent on this computer anymore because it's faster and better. So I'll be able to sh I'll be able to have the uh, the bloke read out the mission briefing for Starfighter when I get round to that. Uh, I really need to finish that playthrough. Anyway, so next uh, next video is going to be um, um, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and then it's going to be uh, Afterburner, I think, and then maybe. Um, I don't know, Afterburner, then maybe Bank Panic. I'll have a think, but anyway, lots of videos to do. Um, Silent Hill is back on, and I still need to finish um, Starfighter 3000. So thank you very much for watching this video of Heroes of the Lance. My next video will be Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on the Sega Master System. Thanks again, and goodbye.